being here. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, <laughs> extremely disappointed about what happened on Saturday. I thought we played uh, as solid a, foot, a quarter of football as we played all year, uh, only to turn around and play, uh, not finish, and, and probably play one of the, the poor uh, quarters of football that we played all year. Uh, but uh, give credit to West Alabama. They made plays down the stretch. We didn't. Uh, it's a crazy football game. Uh, a lot of things could have gone differently. Um, but, uh, you know, just we didn't get it done. And um, we have no time to sit around and be down about it. We've got to turn around and, and put, point our focus towards a, a tremendous team. And it's a, it's a great rivalry between our two schools. And uh, it's always a fun week when you play North Alabama. There's so much respect for that program, Coach Wallace and his staff, what they do there. And um, it's always a good ball game. And, and we're hoping it's going to be the same on Saturday afternoon in Florence. And uh, that's where we are. So that being said, I'll answer anything. Yeah. Yeah. He just played uh, played really well, uh, to be honest with you. I mean, we knew he was a good player, but he played he played really well. I thought he saw the game very well and thought he did some really good things. And, um, you know, we had some passes that were dropped. He could have done some other things, but I thought he handled it well. He had a couple of mistakes uh, that, that he will learn with in time, a couple of things he should have should have capitalized on. But um, that's part of the game. You played 90 snaps. Uh, Thought he graded out really well and uh, had a big day statistic-wise and um, gave our team a chance to win and uh, did his did his part. Uh, so I was really proud of him. What about North Alabama? They're good. They were good last year. Coming yeah, they're really good. Uh, they're really good. I mean, they, they're one of the top teams in this league and uh, a lot of speed on defense. They're a little different defensively this year. They're blitzing a lot more, playing a lot more man coverage, but they've got the guys that can do that. And uh, that makes them really dangerous. And then you got uh, – Running back 24, Thompson, I think he's been there about 12 years, it seems like. And then Luke Wingo at quarterback. So those guys won two Gulf, Gulf South Conference championships back to back. And what, what else can you say about them offensively? They got a tremendous O line. Uh, they do really good things. Uh, get the ball, they can run it, they can throw it. And uh, it's going to be a very, very difficult challenge. Coach, you talked about briefly in your opening remarks about this, you know, fourth quarter being able to finish a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, for some reason or another, it seems like that's the quarter that you guys haven't been able to score compared to the first three. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you – I'm sure you've been – Well, I mean, you say that, but, I mean, we scored a bunch of them at Texas A&M Commerce in the fourth, you know. Uh, it's just Florida Tech, we didn't score in the fourth. And, our, uh, you know, in West Alabama, we didn't score in the fourth. And, you know, we had a, had a chance to do that. Um, I probably should have kicked another field goal. Down there, we had the ball twice in the red zone in the fourth quarter. You know, the second time we went from first and goal at the four to first and goal at the 19. Um, and still trying to understand how that happened. Um, still still trying to get clarification on that. But um, that kind of set us back. And uh, we weren't able to, to punch those in, you know. And, and I, you know, I'm trying to put a finger on it. Um, what happened? I don't know if we got lax. I don't know what happened. But... Uh, I know what I know. This we've got to get a lot better in kicking game. Our our kickoff uh, coverage and our and uh, our coverage units were not where we want them. Uh, that's got to be addressed, and that's already been addressed, and that's going to continue to improve over the next three weeks. And um, you know, I wish I had a better answer for you on the fourth quarter. You know, I think at times we've done well in the fourth quarter, and at times we haven't. You know, but I still think we have a good football team. Uh, the football team's hurt right now, they, but you know, kids are resilient nowadays. They, they came in after they got through the film, they were back in the weight room and had a bounce in their step again, which is always good to see as a coach. Um, and I just talked to them about staying together, you know, staying together. Because uh, that one hurt, Saturday, that one hurt. Of all of them this year, that, that one hurt. You know, that one, Florida Tech, that's a little different because we were trying to come from behind because we played so awful early in the game. And then uh, this one, we just felt like we had com complete control. But give West Alabama credit, they made the plays and we didn't. And, uh, well, we had a ton of chances to make them. We just uh, we didn't. I've got to do a, a better job making sure we finish those things, and that's what I'm going to work on this week as well. With, with Cameron, I mean, is the play calling, you know, have you given him more to do each week? Is it just kind of yeah, we opened it up last week. I mean, if you look at what we did the first two weeks, uh, last week we decided, hey, we're going to let this young man do what we do offensively and kind of open it up. And uh, I, thought he, I thought he handled it really well, you know. Okay. I don't know, through for – Nearly 500 yards and five touchdowns, and thought he was extremely accurate. Even the balls that, like I said, we had seven drop passes. I mean, those balls were right on the money. And made some tough throws with people in his face. Uh, he just played a really good game. So, 
Uh, the question is, can he do it again? You know, because um, this bunch, this bunch has got a great defense, and um, they're going to be ready to get after him. I'm sure. Follow up that, that question. I mean, how much has Tyler Sullivan been able to help him though, with just being able to learn things and trying to just try to? I think they got a good relationship. You know, Tyler's in all the meetings still. And Tyler last night after we watched film, he, he made a few comments, and Tyler looked at him and said, "Hey, man, I just want to tell you, you played great. You know, it's an impressive job. You know, and uh, so I think that's." That's huge, you know, that Tyler's there with him and keeps bringing him along, and um, they got a good relationship. You know, Tyler Cameron's not one that, that says a whole lot. Uh, he Tyler Sullivan's more outspoken. Uh, Cameron's more just a – he's kind of a cool character, and he doesn't say a whole lot, but you know he understands what's going on. And when he talks, you know, you, you better listen up because he's, he's probably saying or asking a really smart question. So, uh, But it's been a good relationship. He's helped him a lot. How about himself? You know, hey, I think I think yeah, he's doing well. He's doing real well. Uh, he actually threw some balls last week in practice and uh, looked really good throwing them. So uh, he's doing well. It's just up to the doctors. It's just how quickly does that thing heal? You know, might be back this year, might not. We don't know yet. You know, it's it's up to the doctors. But and obviously that's what we want it to be because I mean that's a young man's health. You don't want to put him in in jeopardy and things like that. So, uh, but he's he's doing everything on his end, rehabbing through our trainer David Pryor, and they've got a good plan. And so far, I think he's ahead of schedule of what the doctors thought he would be to this point. How does that work with the rehab like this? Are they have to, is he past the red shirt point? Of, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's past, yeah. He's played too many yeah, he's played too many snaps and uh, played too many games. And that's that's college football. I think it was, was it Mississippi State? Young man, Mississippi State. It was his senior year and uh, torn knee. And, man, that's just – that's that's the tough part about college football sometimes, you know. It's just injuries are part of the game. And as we've learned very, very clearly this year, they're part of the game. Well, so. he'd probably rather him <coughs> come back next year. I mean, you know. I just want him to be healthy. I, I, just, healthy I, I, I just want him to be healthy. You know, uh, you know, I know one thing. If they say he's released, I know he's going to be chomping at the bit to get in there and help his team. That's just how he is, you know. And, um, you know, this season's not over by any stretch of imagination. It's a big game Saturday night, uh, you know. Um, obviously, we'd like to be 6-2 and two right now. We're not. We're 5-3. and three. But, um it's a big game Saturday night. It's, it'd be a big game no matter what the records are because it's us and North Alabama. But, um, you know, I think they've got two losses. Uh, we've got three. It's a big ball game for us. We need to try to go up there and knock these guys off. Uh, Coach, the offense, uh, the way it's kind of built, um, it's tough to kind of talk games away. Um, it feels like Todd getting time off the clock. How difficult is that with that offense, the way it's been built? Kind of talk well, I think we can salt games away. We did it last year in this same very game we're talking about against North Alabama. We got the ball in with five minutes left and never gave it back to them. So, uh, we can, uh, but it was just never, you know, when you're up, you go, you're up, you know, 10, then all of a sudden you're up three or four. You know what I'm saying? It's not time for that, you know. It's uh, it's not time to get in a four minute. We had to go down and try to score, you know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, the, 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 in me, the, to me, the biggest momentum change of all of them in that game, and there were some great plays both sides of the ball, there was big momentum swings, was when we went from first and goal to fourth, first and goal to 19. I mean, that totally took the, you know, we kicked the field goal. Good for us. You know, good kick by Vince. Got us up seven. But if we can punch that thing in right there with about four minutes, three and a half minutes left, I think we're up 11. We're in control of the ball game, and, and we're going to come through with a win. Didn't happen. You know, it didn't happen. Coach, overall, just after the game, what's kind of the, the mindset and the attitude on the team right now? I want to win. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, they were hurt. I mean, it was a tough locker room to go into. I'm hurt. They're hurt. Um, felt like we should have won the game, um, but they came back to work yesterday. So, uh, like I said uh, before, you got in here. Kids are resilient, and they're gonna bounce back. And we got some tough kids, and we're gonna be fine. We just gotta stay together. We talk about being a family. It's can't be just a family when it's going good, brother. You gotta be a family all the time. It's tough right now. I mean, it's a tough field house to go into right now. They're hurt, but we're used to winning. So we're used to winning those close games. Just didn't happen the other night. Feel like some of these teams kind of you got a tough schedule. Oh yeah. The quarterback coach. Yeah. Just feel like some of these teams. West Alabama is gonna come and get you this year. Oh yeah, they're smelling blood and water. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I would be too. Uh, but you know. Um, like I said, all the credit to West Alabama. They never gave up. I don't think our kids gave up. We just didn't make the plays down the stretch as they did. And, um, you know, they, they 
they did a little bit better job down the stretch. And, and momentum's a crazy thing, and ball bounces. It's shaped funny. It bounces funny. Uh, but uh, they just they, they outlasted us, and they won the game. They made the plays to win, and we didn't. And um, we got to we get in that same situation this Saturday. We got to finish it out and, and, and come back to Cleveland with a win. That's the, that's the plan going into the week. Nothing's changed. Nothing's nothing's written off. Nothing. Nobody's talking about next year. We we're on a three game season now, and we're really in a one game season. We got to try to beat North Alabama. I mean, if you can't get up to play the next three games, then we got problems. You, you're going to North Alabama, you got Valdez at home, and then you go to MC. You know, those, those are – it's tough, tough three games, but they're three big games that you ought to get excited about. And we're excited about playing them. So, once this rain hits, quits sometime tomorrow, we're going to get out there at practice field at some point and try to get better. Coach, you've talked about that. I mean, obviously, you know, not looking ahead to next year. You want to finish it the way everything is. But, I mean, it says a coach, though, when you look at maybe the freshmen, or especially the freshmen, they haven't been in this situation before. Um, how much, you know, just keeping an eye on them just to see what kind of character they're going to have moving forward? Yeah. Well, it's uh, – yeah, I mean, that, that's a good question. And, it, and it's, also, it's also, you know, keeping – you know, at this level of football, it's keeping your eyes on everybody, you know, because you, you might have that senior that says, well, you know, we're not going to – we're not ranked anymore, blah, blah, blah. I mean, come on, man. We're playing college football. we got enough to play for. And that, that's what I – I mean, that's the big message to the team this week is that we talk about being a family. Well, if we're a family, we got to be a family. I hate to say it, we got to be a family at all times, good times and bad. And right now, first time since we've been here, first time since 2012, uh, Delta State has lost two football games in a row. You know, first time it's happened since I've been here, and that's rough. Uh, I'm not used to feeling this way two weeks in a row. One time, yeah, not two. And that's what makes it really, really tough right now. You know, if you can bounce back with a win, you can keep your head up, keep everything going forward. But right now, we got to dig deep. And um, you got to keep your eyes on the freshmen. You know what I'm saying? That this is not what we do here. And you got to keep your eyes on upperclassmen. Uh, to make sure, hey, let's keep fighting, let's keep going. But I think we will. I, I feel confident. I, I know we will. I feel confident about our guys. Anything else? Appreciate y'all.